All right. Bay Victus! I'm sure that means something. Oh, you'll learn. Because you're gonna hear it about a million fucking times in this game. Okay, Discord, you, you're, there you go. I was gonna say, you've clearly heard me talk because you have lit my thing up. Uh huh. That you don't need to say, oh, no, done getting your sound. No bullshit. You just need to be on your game. What's that? I can't hear you. Did you say something? Sounded like this is going to be a good stream. We'll see how much of this I can take. Oh, you're in for some good. I played this for about five minutes and I'm not looking forward to this. Yeah. I And I have a backup. This game is a hundred hours long and has a hundred thousand screens. That's what it says in the back of the CD case. A good sign of quality. Thank you, Tyrion. Usually, if a game brags about something of that volume, uh, that means it's all bad. So, I'm, I'm looking at you, Borderlands, and your millions of guns. <laughs> Three is actually the best uh, use of that kind of thing. The first two are kind of met, but Three really actually does have a huge variety. It's pretty good. But, no, uh, so... The entire Legacy of Kane franchise is a giant mixed bag of good and bad things happening all at the exact same time. It's easily one of the smartest and well-written franchises, but mm, mm, gameplay is... Mm. I never have played any of these games, but I've always, always looked at it and like, this looks like some grimdark, like... It is and it isn't. It's ex it, this is a, probably the most verbose slash loquacious series ever made. Everything is written in this Victorian, uh, just grandiose, sort of high class sort of way. And the voice acting is probably my favorite voice acting in, in most almost any series, really. Almost faux Shakespeare. It's, it, it's if Shakespeare was written so that you could understand what the fuck people were saying. That's the way I put it. Shakespeare was straight up just linguistic nonsense all the way down. Whereas this actually makes sense. Well, Shakespeare was also written however many years ago. Yeah, but even, even for that time, it was nonsense. I'm not saying it was bad, Carnival. I'm just saying it was nonsense. Most of what he wrote was just nonsense he made up. Okay. Scoop my chair up closer. There we go. But yeah, all of the... Uh... All of the Legacy of Kane games, in terms of gameplay, have some kind of jank or problem. And this one... <sighs> Again, Carnival. Not saying that it's hard to hard to understand, it's just, it's just not 
Mm. How do how do I put it? It's nonsense. <laughs> Shakespeare was mostly nonsense. And e e even even if you get context, it still takes a bit to understand what he's trying to get at. Whereas this just gets gets it right out. You can understand it without thinking too too hard. Snooty speak. Yeah. I was going to say, I'm like, okay, who's the composer of this and the soundtrack that I have of it is just the artist's Bottom and Legacy of Cain. Hey, Finn Phelps. Hmm. Uh, the composer is Steve Hennepin. Okay, I've never heard of them. Let's see here. Oh. Oh. What What else did they do? They, uh, damn. So, oh. a couple things. They worked on Eternal Darkness, and unfortunately, they passed away last year in July. Oh. That that is that is not that is very that they're upset. Yeah, I was with sucks. the way that you were saying Silicon Knights and you were going that way. I'm like, oh, and this, I know you. And this, is, and this is the guy who got the who got no, arrested. No, 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 no. He worked on Eternal Darkness, Two Human, a uh, number of the Metal Gear Solid games, including Five: The Phantom Pain. But no, my O's was that he unfortunately passed away in, in July of yeah. uh, 2019. That that is. That is not good. That's always... Yeah. The... Yeah. Let's see. Uh... It was like fortune telling. I'm just reading an obituary. Hmm. Let's see what Moby Games has to say. <clears throat> oh, so he wasn't just a composer. He also did programming and engineering. He, was, he worked in video. Uh, but his primary work was audio um so let me just find like his earliest work his earliest work actually was uh doing sound samples for monopoly deluxe in 1992 he worked <laughs> on he did sampling work on disney's aladdin in 93 uh is that i take it that's probably the virgin one i believe so yeah because he's also credited on cool spot yeah so he must have been a virgin employee before mm-hmm Worked on Gex, the seventh guest. He did sound work on the seventh guest. Okay. He did both Metal Gear Solid Five games, music and additional music. Hmm. Twin Snakes, he worked on as well. Yep, that I mean, yep, that makes sense. Because Silicon Knights. Yeah. Are we gonna touch even just a little bit on? I our... I, I I have a feeling that there's gonna be a little bit of dead air occasionally, so. <laughs> We can bring so that I feel up like it's, it's a it's it's a horse we're gonna have to beat real yeah, quick it's, just to get it out of the way. Yeah. Also, actually, I think this mm, not well. Technically, we can do it during if because it depends oh, if for some reason we ever get to the yeah, the twin snakes. Because well, actually, it depends because as I am unfortunately finding out the meaning of retro is going to be turning or that changing at the end of this yeah. year because yes. of a new generation which opens up a whole lot of things it's going to open some pain and some good oh. too because uh, new PS2 generation and, yep ps2 and it's uh generation is now technically retro mm -hmm. which means we can finally do fatal frame yay 
Shadow. Oh God, Shadow Hearts, especially the first one. <laughs> but that also means we can do Eternal Darkness. Yep. Which is, I mean, like there are plenty of bad games out there, and I do enjoy us doing them just because I don't know. I, I'm born of the MST 3K stuff, so I love ripping on bad shit. But there's tons of good uh, Katamari. We could do Katamari. Yeah. Let's see. Okay, let me actually. Let's actually go ahead and start. So, okay. Hello, and welcome to a Sunday edition of Retro and Crapsody. Um, so, this is... We're continuing doing the long plays here. We finished Blaster Master last, last week, so we're moving on to a new game. Uh, this is one that technically could be played very... You could do a very long play of this, but um, we're only going to... We're only going to be doing one stream of this because in a weird way, uh, in a weird way, it's the better way of showing it because a lot of it's just going to be kind of the same from what I have understand. You're going to backtrack a ton in this game. So Also, it's ass. Uh, it's, yeah. Well, that also, but yeah. Also, it's the first of a chain of games that have absolutely nothing to do with this, so we're only doing this off technicality. No, uh, they, they, they all continue off of this game. Well, mechanically, I, I think. But, right, yeah, yeah, none of the other games play like this, but the story stays in continuity. There's only one game in the franchise that isn't in the main continuity, and to explain why would take a little bit. Also, that game sucks, but let's get to this. Yeah, so this is Blood Omen Legacy of Cain, which, Axe, you requested this, I believe. I did, yes, I did. A while ago, and I'm now finally getting to it. So... <sighs> Uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and start this up. I'm going to go be honest. I have never played this game. <laughs> also, well, technically, Nosgoth and also Blood Omen 2. Blood Omen 2 doesn't take place in the part of the main main line of story. Nosgoth actually is the prequel to, I believe, Soul Reaver. Because it is it the prequel to Soul Reaver. No, actually, it takes place well before Blood Omen. And it's not that good. It wasn't great, no. All right, so... It was competitive. Crystal Dynamics Blood Publishing? Also, it's going to be one of the... Get first, it's not the first game, I believe, by these guys, but it's uh, one of them. Yeah. What a good studio that did good things. Yeah. Yeah. The concept of Kane. God. Sorry, looks. Uh, this is actually their fourth game. Oh, oh, nice. Their first game was uh, Cyber Empires for the Amiga, then Fantasy Empires and Dark Legions for DOS, and then. The... So there's quite a lot of stuff to look at here. Okay. I like that. If nothing else, though, they are indirectly responsible for one of the greatest fucking giant bomb videos of all time. Yes, that two human thing. I don't even know if it was a quick look. God, two it human. Okay, so a quick look. let's see. Attack. Use magic. Action. A lot of buttons on this PS4, PS1 game. Okay, let's go ahead and just start a game. And enjoy. There is a magical operation of maximum importance. Holy shit! The, the initiation of a new aeon. When it I have a feeling that this would have looked a lot better on a CRT. The it would. Planet yeah. must be there are limits to what a CRT can do. Blood. Blood. Volume up a bit. Yep. Man, I love that sock sound effect that I always associate with Morrowind. <laughs> That's the great vampire Mor Morador. Okay. Okay, that was pretty sick. So, man, this is so much more interesting than what we're about to do. <laughs> Oh, 
All your dogs! They can feast on your corpses! What? He's drinking blood. That's how you drink blood in these games. Okay. Good job. For fulfilling the Pillar of Nosgoth, now it's You are hereby damned. Tommy J, rest in peace. The pleasures of the flesh are no longer You have but one of the stare at one of You will serve us for eternity. I really like the stereo separation. I don't. If I believe correctly, that's Ariel. She seems I'm dead right now. Me. She's very dead. I'm saying all this because I obviously we're never going to get through this whole thing. But she was the uh, pillar of balance. Okay. I mean, it's a good, very good thing for a pillar to be. Mm -hmm. So when it frees up, could you just give us a rundown of what the fuck the just happened? The tavern's happened? closing. Best be on your way, stranger. What? No mug of ale for a weary traveler from distant Corhagen? I can reward you well, for I am of noble blood. I stay open for no man in these dark times. Things come with the night that no sane man would welcome. And so I left. Cold of heart and soul, forced to the road and the long, bitter night. So this Doc. is Simon Templeton, who plays the voice of Kane in every game. Uh, also, also so I... this is the Castlevania show that everyone's talking about. Uh, yes. So what basically happened was um, there was a attack on one of the pillars of Nazgoth, which is the, basically what keeps this place in balance. Uh, and in doing so, the vampire corridor basically End it. killed now. killed one of the champions, Malik, who is supposed to, I believe, is the pillar of mind. And in doing so, he was uh, basically transformed into a suit of armor and went mad, and then he killed Ariel, the pillar of balance, setting into motion the events that we're about to see right now. Fay Victus, suffering to the conquered. Ironic that now I was the one suffering. Fay Victus, Fay Victus. You're gonna hear that. Fay Victus, Fay Victus. Impotent anger. Fay Victus. The hunger. Fay Victus. Fay Victus. I didn't Victus. care if I was in heaven Fay or hell. Fay Victus. So All this I is the uh, time sorcerer Mobius. Mobius. Okay. Sometimes you get what you wish for. So Necromancer Mortanius offered me a chance for vengeance. Or Mortanius, and like a I'm sorry. Fool, I jumped at his offer without considering the cost. Nothing is free, not even revenge. So in, so he was killed by those uh, bandits you saw, and Mortanius <laughs> you tricks him into becoming a vampire in exchange for getting revenge on the people who killed him. Okay. Mortanius is sort of like the main villain of the franchise, basically doing Machiavellian shit throughout the games. With Kane sort of being a secondary antagonist in uh, this little river line of the franchise. I awoke to the pain Here he's sort of the anti-hero. In a dank womb of darkness and decay. Okay. But as the series progresses, he becomes less of an antagonist and more of like a central part to the plot. Okay. He starts out as the antagonist. The that's, spell I mean, that's me to travel how Soul Reaver is set up. The soil of my how grave subsequent games treat that respite. different. I often resort to this when I am weak and need nourishment. Okay. Oh. Okay, note self, don't press pause. Yeah. yeah also, well, get used to that, too. Yeah. Okay. Wait, I hope you what? like loading screens. What is this menu? Sanctuary. Sanctuary. Okay. Okay, is this equipment? That's your equipment, yeah. And then this is... Magic, I assume? What yeah. a fucking wild time for UI design. Yeah. This is like the, the Terranigma... Um, 
screen. So this is why I want you to do the PlayStation 1 version, because the PC version handles this way better. <laughs> but yeah, as the series goes oh. on, characters also, the, shift in and out of see. being antagonists and... Yeah. So these oh. are powers. Reputed to have been ripped from the chest of the greatest vampire to have ever existed, Janos Audron, the heart of darkness restores vampiric unlife. Life is precious, Janos discovered, as it was torn, throbbing, and bleeding from his own body. Okay. So that's a healing spell. But as the series goes, there's lots of twists and turns in how each character is seen, whether or not they're an antagonist or a protagonist or anti-hero to hero. It sort of has a back and forth between different characters. Uh, lots of... And then you never get a satisfying ending. I, I don't know. I thought the ending to Defiance was fine. I want more, but it does put together a lot of this. It does wrap up some of the plots that they built up from the start the of the series. The Heart of Darkness. Fairly well. The Heart of Darkness. Okay. Yeah, Janos is wit later in the franchise. And then his role in the plot becomes uh, a lot clearer. Also, I saw there was one. Is this Vancian magic? You saw the what we were now? I saw I have a, a one next to it. Is that Vancian magic, or do I... This ancient oh. vial bears with it a dark gift indeed. For with it, my life force is increased. <laughs> Okay, so I think it's a triangle. There you go. Okay. Yep, so you just hold that down until the animation stops and you drain blood. You can do that to enemies too. These ancient symbols of power contain raw magical energy that increases my own capacity to summon energy for the spawning of spells. You know, I see what they're going for, but also at the same time, I kind of wish there was like a little thing that says, hey, this is what the just, what, here's what it does. Yeah, it like I said, it's extremely loquacious and nervous. Within the walls of these chambers, I could also, find rest. And if I so chose, resume my point. journey when my weariness abated. It's a safe point. Yeah. <laughs> I Is love it weird this. that every time he starts talking, my hand makes this jerking motion? I can't stop it. You may have to jerk quite a lot. You're you're probably going to have a giant JoJo arm by the end of this. It is. I love the way this series is written. It's loquacious, but it's enjoyable, at least to me. Especially once you get into Soul Reaver. That's because Soul Reaver is good, unlike this. I mean, this is well written. It's just the gameplay is horrendous. And the... I don't like like the the, the loquaciousness, the purple prose, yeah. whatever you want to fucking call it. E... it yeah, I'm not gonna like lie. Feels like a to me. Yeah, that's the that's kind of the thing, especially since I'll, I'll admit I am not one for dark. I actually really despise dark fantasy, but also, I could definitely see why people would like that. Yeah. The world had changed to my eyes. I had not expected such cruelty from the light. Okay, that's all. For in the embrace of the sun, I could find no comfort. Only malice. But yeah, I can understand this the appeal. I just do not like worse, it at all. It just it feels really up its own ass when people talk when like that. When rainfall comes, vampires are wise to find shelter from its acidic touch. <laughs> yeah, so as long as the sound clip is playing, you can't do shit. Right. You oh. can't enter buildings or uh, access menus oh, is that, while is that just, is this just a save point? It's just a save point. Yeah. Okay. God, I love the loading screens. I love them so much for it. Days, yeah. 20 hours. Blood Omen 1 is unfortunately the worst playing one. Whereas Blood Omen 2 is just garbage tier all around. Soul also, Reaver is I'm pretty much the apex of the franchise. One thing real quick. Please tell me that... <laughs> Why are you like this? I just like that whenever you move the slider, it just restarts the music. <laughs> that music's just a bit loud. Let's 
Soul Reaver 2 is pretty good, but not quite as good as Soul Reaver 1, though it does play better. Oh, okay, Soul so there's, there's stuff in here. Yeah. The Soul oh, Reaver 1 a... is PlayStation 1 with uh, a 3D action game on PlayStation 1 using so, only the uh, D-pad. So what? So, Soul Reaver was also on the Dreamcast, and actually that's what I played it on. Ah, so, uh, okay. So, what? So, oh, press triangle? There it, you it's go. It's circle, apparently. But, oh, it's circle? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so when you see an enemy sort of like wait, wiggling back and forth, that means they're dazed, and you can then drain them of blood. Okay. You can't drain skeletons of blood. That'd be really weird. Blood is stored in the bones. Everybody knows this. Yeah, uh, marrow. Right. Can't wait till we do Shadow Man. I can I can wait a real long time. <laughs> Game's terrible. What? Oh, okay. Yeah, so the hitboxes on spike pits are kind of garbage. And there is knockback. So is there a reason to drink blood when you full up? Oh. Not really. It, except you get that neat little animation of the blood spilling out of the vial, but that's about it. Why do I have a feeling that there's a prototype of this somewhere that is for the Amiga? This Once again, they they did work on the Amiga. The first game was an Amiga game. Yeah, just, I can tell. Hundred thousand screens. So that's, I, I don't know if you do the, uh, I don't remember if you do the uh, stuff before we actually start the stream where you do your intro, but uh, we were talking about the composer of the game uh, before we actually got started. That was Steve Hennepin, uh, who worked on a number of games, including Metal Gear Solid 5, Phantom Pain, and uh, Ground Zeroes, and Eternal Darkness. We did unfortunately lose them in a July last year. So, okay, let's that. see. Is there... Do I just have to guess for these? Yeah. It's... I don't recall there being, like, anywhere the actual solution. Try the middle. Yeah, I gotta wait for the pop out. Now, uh, press... Go up to it and press against it again. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so let's try right. there, there, there. No. I think it's only. It's, it's what not ones are popped in and out. I think. Try, uh, try, okay. Wait. Uh, pop well. in the pop out the third one again. And the first there one. Again. There you go. Yeah, I was gonna say because you kept doing the same pattern over and over again. Like Lola, why? <laughs> That's part of the charm of retro rank rap These space. This is an attack devices spell. hurl bolts of whirling energy and eviscerate my human enemies by stripping ragged flesh from blood-stained bone. Right. Loading. Loading. <laughs> so now you're quick setting your stuff so you can access your spills. Fields. Okay. Okay, so. How, how do we use a spell? Oh. Oh, what? So that's oh. Sanctuary. Sanctuary returns okay, you. That's map. Oh my god, oh, there you can go. zoom out. It's so much better already. Yeah, R1 is quick, quick spells. Ow. Triangle is forms menu. R2 is quick objects. Okay. I actually want, want to zoom in because these spikes. There we go. Yeah. The game's very dark and the lighting kind of super sucks. The lighting is really bad. Yeah. It's not all just like this. There are actually well lit areas, but. Now also, BG Noise is saying that there are combos, but you have to hit the uh, button with a slight rhythm. Yeah, it's not easy, but. Right? There you go. Yeah, okay, we already got the line. Yep. 
that's why I said if you, if, you, if you get it right, you will always hear Vay Victus. <laughs> yeah, this game has a lot of areas, and there is a good amount of variety to a uh, number of areas. It's just, there's just a lot. It's also not good. It's, it's kind of like, like a cheap so knockoff to a uh, Diablo. <laughs> Not really. Lower. N not really, because this it's not a looter game. And it doesn't have the same kind of camera, really. And the combat isn't the same, so it's not really Diablo. Yeah, it's just some top-down action. Like, one of my criticisms... I say it's not the same camera as Diablo. Yeah. Like, one of my criticisms of Soul Reaver is that it's a lot of grays and greens. This is just a lot of, you know, dark and muted Patrick, colors. I'm going to check something real quick, because I wonder if this will help. Let's see. Option. CD loading speed. 14%. Or 14 times. I see what you're trying to do. I'm gonna get the, the true right. PlayStation One experience now, Lolo. Yeah, but that's bad. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, there are a bunch of PS One games that don't have this many load times. I know. Okay, is this? Okay. Okay, was this just? Yeah, that's that's a doorway below you. you see those two? Uh, oh. That indicates a doorway. Do you wish to seek sanctuary? No. So head to the right and down. That should lead you to the next doorway. Up. Go up. Oh, Go okay. right. Go down. But I, I get not Go. wanting to break kayfabe and whatever, but like stuff like that prompt still annoys me. Yeah. So now you can go back Hunger outside. and weakness are no bar to vengeance's call. I would find my slayers and send them back whence I came. Okay. God, he sounds like such a goober. So, what? What is our? What character are we? You're you're Kane. We're Kane. Okay, we are just Kane. Bay <laughs> 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 Victor. <laughs> Bay Victus! Bay Victus! Yes, it is the bandits that killed you at the start of the game. Bay Victus! I hate this. Bay Victus! Get used to it, fuck. You ain't gonna hear it a while. I had crossed death for this moment. My mind was empty save for one thought. I would kill. Save for one thought. Bay Victus! There's no greater release than that from vengeance sated. With no greater release dead, than very victor. My quest was over. Tis not over. Very victor. These fools were merely the instruments of your murder, not the cause. Look to their masters. Look to theirs and gain way to the fortress of the mind. No, oh, no, the mind dungeon. Uh oh. Lolo, I think you broke it with your fucking loading speed thing. Good job. Good. Now, if you pay close attention, as this is reverse, he'll say, Hail Satan. The instruments of your murder, not the cause. Look to their masters. Look to the pillars. And gain way to the fortress of the mind. Maybe unfuck the load speed. Yeah, so I, I was remembering correctly, my brain just misfired. So Mortanius is the necromancer in this game that brings you back to life. Mobius becomes a primary antagonist as of uh, Soul Reaver. And then there's some other characters who actually become, become antagonists that you don't really 
This was get where at the bloody first, and then it's sort of like, yeah, that makes sense. Place. Okay. <laughs> you stupid <it>, fucker. <laughs> you can't escape it. So these are just townspeople. You don't have to kill them, okay. but you can use them for uh, health. They are the sheep. <coughs> of, uh... Yeah, that works too. Just kill the barmaid as well. Look, she came at him with a knife. Okay, so you pressed X, which is why you got that prompt. Yep. It's because you have Sanctuary equipped. Sanctuary just brings you back to your maws. You don't have any other spells. Okay. Uh, I don't know Stop. What... Stop. That. Oh, good. The Tinnitus is back. Great. Oh. Oh, God. Game also froze. You... Okay. Press R2 and then equip one of those. That did not seem to help. Can I do, do anything with this guy? No, he's just kind of there. He refuses to close for anyone, but also he refuses to close. The O button is to talk to people, by the way. But you're also a vampire, so... Okay. Who just keeps screaming Vey Victus for some reason. <laughs> just walking through the woods, yelling, hey, Vey Victus! Almost said, hey, Victus, which would be even better. Just calls of Vey Victus in the distance, you sit there <laughs> terrified. <laughs> it's Judas Priest Nightcrawler, but it just shouts Vey Victus as it comes into town. So I've been doing two and a half hours of this, huh? Yeah, you are. Like, all I'm saying is just imagine being out in the woods traveling, and all of a sudden, off in the distance, you hear Vey Victus. Oh, and it keeps oh. getting closer. <laughs> Vey Victus! What do you do? Vey Victus! Whoop. The necromancer had offered me no warning as to what my resurrection would entail, and yet I must confess in my haste I had not sought one. Was his gift a curse? I would seek the pillars for an answer. These are very well paced out. Also, I got my uh, characters mixed up between Malak and Nepraptor. Nepraptor is the pillar of uh, mind, and Malak is simply just guarding the pillars, which is his punishment for failing to stop uh, both hands from uh, killing six of the pillars. I'm pretty sure Nepraptor is for low blood pressure. You're probably not wrong. <laughs> And it's, uh, it was actually, the intro cinematic doesn't tell you it, but you learn later on that Malik is the one who killed Ariel at the Pillar of Balance. And her death sets forth pretty much all of the events, uh, basically after this, after Kane's resurrection. God, are we going to talk about Dennis Dyack at any point? I mean, we we're trying Probably. to figure out a, a way to, to do it organically. It's but I don't think you're getting that. I don't we think that's, to. That's, yeah. a good, that's a good segue into let's talk about how Dennis Dyack fucking sucks. Yeah, we no also should discuss it. how this company went under. Yeah, so which one do you want to start with first? I mean, let's start with Dennis Dyack, because he's a central figure. Yeah. Oh. As daylight Dennis Dyack darkness, the was the uh, president of Silicon Knights and directed uh, Blood Omen and Eternal Darkness. He's also a huge pile of shit. Oh, let's see. Would you like to know more? Well, Tell me more it... about this man who's in the Canadian Gaming Hall of Fame. The trapdoor. Your madness has shattered our it's, dreams it's and blinded you. Keep your distance, or I'll send you back to hell, spirit! There is nothing left of me to fear, vampire. 
I'm only a shadow of my former self, Ari. The How balance to, of the uh, circle of nine. Even so, I can provide the answers you seek. screaming at the top of his lungs. I seek gone, only a cure. There is no cure for death. Looks only like Angus release. Grim. You must destroy. I thought he looks like sorcery. someone else, but I don't want to bring the it up. The sorcery that is now poisoning Osgoth. Only then will you realize peace. Toss a coin to your vampire. The nine of the protectors of hope were sworn to use their powers to preserve our world. Now these pillars have been corrupted by a traitor. My murder at the hands of this beast drove my love Napraptor mad. Now he spreads misery and pain among the circle, crumbling the very foundation of Nosgoth. You must restore balance. You must right the pillars of Nosgoth. I care not for the fate of this world. Then for yourself, Cain. Beware the unspoken. So basically how the pillars work is each pillar has a guardian. And if the guardian is killed, or a guardian gets corrupted, rather, uh, they must be killed and their particular Not object Raptor related to them and their pillar must be vengeance, returned to the pillars to, destroy to restore all balance. Norsgoth. Each circle member was bonded to the pillar he served. The pillars reflected the mental state of their servants, and as the minds of the circle degenerated and descended farther into dementia, the pillars crumbled. To restore them, each member of the circle had to die, and the artifact that served as their link to the pillar had to be returned. Only when all the pillars were restored did Ariel claim my curse would end. And so, my hunt for Nupraptor began the pillar of balance and that's ariel's pillar so you could go up to each one and get a kind of like a close-up of each pillar the Doesn't pillar really... of the mind okay I mean, it's it's flavor to see their mental state yeah and so that's the pretty much the crux of it kane gets killed by a bunch of bandits mortanius brings him back to life as a vampire he kills the bandits and then is basically forced to kill all of the guardians and try to restore balance to Nosgoth due to an overarching plot. Yeah, as I was gonna say, it all feels really convenient, don't it? Mm -hmm. But I think, are we free yet? These beacons serve as landmarks during my flights in bat form. Once I have committed their locations to memory, I can always return. In bat form, Fast I can travel. travel great distances with ease. From my vantage in the heavens, no region of Nosgoth Vey is forbidden Victor! to me. Vey Victus! Okay, so... Vey Victor! Good buddy, Dennis. Yes, more about our friend Dennis. Why don't you take take it away, Torpid? No, no, no. I, I, you, you've got this. <laughs> you have far more investment in this franchise and this developer than I do. Ah, uh, God. I'm trying to remember all of his, uh, all of his fuckery, because. I mean, I, I off the top of my head, I remember that. Uh, so, if those of you who may remember, there was a game called Two Human, which was supposed to be like a futuristic thing about. I think it was. It was, Norse mythology? Yeah, it was Norse mythology. It was Norse mythology, but also yeah. I believe for futuristic. <laughs> I believe and the I'm... main character is Balder. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. So about that, that game was developed on, I believe, the Epic N, one of the Epic engines. No, it was Unreal Three. It was Unreal Three. However, it was an unlicensed, unregistered version of it. They did not have permission to use it, so Epic took them to court, and the game got taken off of all storefronts. Yep, it was four point five million dollars. Yep. Also, that game is kind of bad. It was yeah. really mediocre. While it is true that natural light weakens a vampire, but it did give us that one giant bomb video, and that's what matters. Indeed. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, what's, what's even better though is apparently they had planned a two human two and two human three, as well as an eternal darkness two. Yeah. So to really sum up and why Dennis Dyack... Silent Dyak... Hill, the box. Yeah. If I could sum up why Dennis Dyack is garbage, it's simply this. He is pro-GG. 
flay. And that really tells you all you need to know about why Please. Dennis Dyack sucks. There's a lot more. Please stop making that noise. Iron armor. I am dying. Farts. Vampire farts. Oh, please help me, kind sir. Help me, kind sir. Help me, kind sir. You know, he's homophobic, transphobic. Oh, there we go. Horrible garbage person. Oh, please. Yeah, and also, I hope you like moaning, because there's a lot of moaning in this game. Oops. And I believe, if I remember correctly, uh, Dayak was responsible, or at least in part, for the um, trademarking, or, yeah, I think it was tra patenting? No, it was patenting, of the sanity effects in Eternal Darkness. So you can't use them in your game. Well, actually, Nintendo owns the rights. They own the rights, but Silicon Knights was, I believe, the ones that... Uh, started it, and then Nintendo absorbed it once Silicon Knights basically went under. I'll be honest, I don't recall. Because I've tried to mostly forget as much as possible about this particular game, because it's just extremely not that good. But yeah, so that's 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 our talk about Dennis Dyack sucking. <clears throat> I'll never forget that for all the talk of it, Eternal Darkness was in fact a flop. Yeah, commercially it was it didn't do very well. Which is a shame because it's actually a pretty decent game. No, no, I, th I feel like it's really hit or miss. Well, it's definitely dated. A lot of the sandy stuff doesn't work anymore. Um, the combat is uh, rough, to say the least. Did they pull like one of the exact same like effects as like one of the Psycho Mantis ones, like where it? Uh, yeah, yeah, the the screen, the video. Uh, yeah. yeah, the 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 some of the possible effects were, I think, the screen getting smaller. Uh, it's showing your volume control going down. Yeah, There's... it was a lot of stuff. It was pretty far-reaching in terms of, like, both gameplay and visual effects. Yeah. Like, the nastiest one it did was, while you were saving, it would stop saving and then start deleting your file. But it didn't actually delete your file. I love Mr. Cowards. Setting. But it was a really good, it was a really good effect that tricks you. Then there was one where if you walk into a room, your arms fall off, your legs fall off, and then your head falls off. It was really neat. And also, they patented it. Yes. So later games in the series would then go on to a far better company, Crystal Dynamics. Uh, this series, that is. Yes, yes. Help me, kind sir. It's very spaghetti sounding. Oh, uh, still a bit up. Oh, so you say right. better, but they gave us Gex. I mean, I, I mean, stand, I stand by my statement. It is an accurate statement. It is a better company. Yeah, and honestly, Gex gets a lot of hate, but I like it. Gex is bad. I like Gex. Oh, Amy Henning is a fantastic writer, and I would love to have her come back and cap off the franchise with one last game, because <clears throat> Defiance ends on kind of a, uh, it kind of ties things together, but there's sort of, it's definitely a lead into a sequel. And it's an like absolute goddamn shame that the only game we got post Defiance was the PvP only Nosgoth. Yeah, it was great how many fans are pissed off by that. Yeah, because all it was was just... Uh, it was kind of like Bioshock 2's multiplayer, where it, it basically just tells the war between the Hildens and the Vampires. And it was, it was fucking disappointing. 
It was really <laughs> mediocre. Yeah. Like, even ignoring the ties to the franchise, it was just not good. It very much felt like the case of uh, digging up an old IP just to use it like that for the brand recognition. Yeah, and it was, that's really more, it wasn't that the game oh, was wait. bad, it was that it was oh, nothing God, what we, God. what any any fans of the series was asking for. We wanted it proper. No, it was, it was bad. I mean, yeah, no, that's not really, it wasn't, but it wasn't that it was bad, it was really the main point of contention. It was more just that we really wanted a finale, we wanted a, a closure to the whole series, and instead we got a really bad prequel that okay. didn't have gameplay that matched anything in the series. Man, you know what this is making me want to play? Black Sora. God, oh, why? Man. Because that's also, just in my mind, another grim dark thing with a bunch of people that you can save slash shoot. That was that was Blizzard, wasn't yep, it? Yep, that was Blizzard. I believe that was That's an old ass Blizzard. That was two that was the 2D sort of Abe's Odyssey playing one. Yeah. Cinematic platformer. Yeah. And and don't get me wrong, I don't speak for all fans of the franchise, even though it sounded like I was just trying to. But the general consensus, at least from what I saw on forums and on me social media was, you know, this really kinda sucks and not what we were looking for. Yeah, no, as I said, like, part of the big issue is it just wasn't a good game to begin with. Like, it'd be one thing if it was actually an alright game. Yeah. But it wasn't even that. It was just a kind of mediocre garbage. It was just a four, four, per, I think it was four people each side, uh, PvP game, which, first of all, I hate those to begin with, and second of all, you know, it would, it would have been fine if they had actually done one more game. No, we have not done Oddworld yet. Yeah, that's one. I don't really like that series. It's very gross out, and I don't care for that. Ow. Spikies hurts. So what do the purple do... things do? Purple yeah. things is magic. Okay. So if you look on the right hand side of your screen, you see those little blue scr scratches. That's your magic runes. That's how much magic you have left. Okay. It's a really bad meter. Yeah. It's nothing up there. Get out of here. You're gonna die. You do have uh, heal potions, basically. All right. Uh... It's R2. Yeah, there you go. Oh. So the heart is your heals. For some reason, it wasn't letting me do anything. I think you, uh... I think you press circle to activate it. Or add it to your uh, active, active menu. To the circle or X. It doesn't help that there just seems to be, like, no, like, like, I don't have any direction. Yeah. Yeah, so basically, uh, you're, the only direction they gave you was you need to go find the Praptor. Okay. And that's kind of it. Uh, also, I have a slight feeling that this game is gradually starting to break. Just a bit. PlayStation port of it was not good. Please stop farting. Oh. I, it is. So let's see. Where did you start off? Start the pillars. So basically, you want to be heading north according to the world map. Like, do I need to even need to be in this dungeon? Uh, I don't even know which dungeon you entered, to be quite honest. Okay, so I'm just gonna head out. Yeah. Can... Once you're in the overworld, you can get a better idea of where you need to go. Because you want to be heading north. You do need this power. But ultimately, you want to be heading north to Napraptor's Retreat. 
So you should have a you should have a map actually. Uh, there you go. Yeah. So let's yeah you so you want to be heading up north that way. Okay. Uh. How do so I... it looks like you're going to go to the east, to the west rather, and so... then you're going to go out and up. So I'm going to go right. Go left. west. West. Go left. All right. I was get that a little mixed up. Night dawns, and with it, the vampire grows stronger. Check your map now. Okay, so... How do I get up? Okay, so, uh, if I... If I'm recalling correctly, so you can actually jump up those ledges, and you do have the ability, I believe. Press, uh, get out of your map and press triangle. Pick wolf. Where's that bat? You don't have, you don't have wolf yet. Okay. All right. So you just have. What the... Oh yeah. So here's, here's this the world map. Yeah, he needs wolf. So see how that you have to go north. So just exit. You can't uh, go anywhere new yet. Okay. So you need to pick up the wolf ability. Let's get this. Uh, really? Looks like there's a cave that I haven't been to yet. Yeah, you basically you want to. I think this is where you get wolf. It's been a while since I played, but I remember the a fair amount. I, I love how he just keeps casting light forever. Yeah, this is this is wolf. So you gotta beat this place to get your uh, wolf form. Cast light. There you my go. My lupine form enables me to move like lightning and leap over obstacles barring my path. But the guise of the wolf brings with it its own kind of hunger and rage. Sounds fake. Ow. Okay, there we go. This game is so bad. Yeah, it's, it's extremely not good. Delicious noodles. It seems like it controls even worse. Yep, it doesn't control. Wait, what am I? What There's I... a door beneath you. Yeah, but I couldn't go through it. Maybe you need to be people. people. You need a switch, I think. I guess I just can't cast. Okay, yeah, so... Over the spikes on the left, head down and... Okay, yeah. <clears throat> Hitboxes are for cowards. best part is you take a little bit of damage every time you do that. Okay, now. So you hit the switch, so now you can go through the door. Oh. No, you need to be wolf form. And you just head back to the door now. So 
They got a hit with slurp. And then jump up. There you go. Now you've got access to the next area. Boss is fucking. Wait, what's that to the right? Yeah. Those are uh, Flays and Heart of Darkness. Boss. Water hurts, naturally. Oh, uh, wait, are magic spells consumables, or are those specific yes. consumable items? Right. They're, they're, so, you have spells, which uses magic, that's the R1 menu, and then you have consumable items, which is the R2 menu. <sighs> so the Heart of Darkness is a consumable, and Flay is also a consumable. Gotta transform. Yep. <laughs> I think it's an emulation issue. Could be. Because those weren't in the actual game. Might want to heal. Don't have an... You have hard heart weaknesses. I did this game controls the ass. Okay, let's rewind a bit. Yay, Victus! Oh. Actually, uh... Knife throw like, Vey Victus, this bitch. Try equipping the flay. Which is the two little discs. Like, it's not... Oh, there Press we go. left. Okay, so I'm wondering if... I, mean, I think the hearts are just, uh, let me see. Oh. <laughs> Enjoy your sweet ninja stars. Yeah, I wonder why it wasn't letting you actually... Oh, it's because there's a mini loading screen in here, I think. Hmm. Yeah, for some reason it's it's fine. It'll revive. Yeah. It'll give you health back. There you go. Yeah, the... This version was not very good. Sorry, what was that noise? It's the it's the emulation going to shit. I mean, outside the emulation Wait. issues, they still had some issues. Why am I back here? Mm -hmm. No, I think you're just back at the start now. Okay. So now you can just leave and go up the cliff face. Yep. There's another item you can, another uh, power you can get. If you head back to Zeke stool. Okay. You can get the energy bolt. <clears throat> Let's fast travel there. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, it's triangle. Okay. Uh, 
head to the pillars. So if you go, actually, if you want, if you go to the, uh, let me see. Uh, you could, you could get some more flays if you want, but I don't think you really need to do that. So you want to go to where the, the path goes west and north near the pistol marker outside of the, uh. Okay. I want to so go this... where? Um, let's see. It should be up. It should be outside of uh, Zeke's stool. And the two paths you'd be able to go are east or west and north, and you you'll be able to go to north. Just check your map for it. Also, Tyrion asks a valid question. About ninety percent of the time. <laughs> Extremely buzz, good buzz, knife. Buzz, 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 buzz. Knife throwing are good. <laughs> Right track. Uh, check your map. Oh, right here. Yep. Okay. So let's see here. So we just came. You just came from the north. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we're backing down essentially. Distant. Yeah, because you said go back to town and I can get a spell, right? Well, yeah, because what it's saying is, is you go to the area where there's a where you can go west and north. You go north and into the first building you see. Oh, okay. Go first, first building you see. So probably. yeah. Uh, let me just. First building you see. Check your map again. The world map. Let me see if I can get. Say, so once you're in the building. Didn't seem like it. Okay, let me. I'll check my map. Okay. Okay, so let's take a look here. All right, go more to the right, please. Okay. And keep going up. see a building there all right okay you go to the left all right try leaving town from the uh, northwest okay because there are no buildings on that other path down below sure whatever <laughs> 
Okay, now, map, please. I want to make sure we're in the right place. Let's see. Here's your mausoleum. Yeah, that's your mausoleum. I don't think this has any branching paths. No, so it looks like they are talking about the area you just came from, so you must have passed it, or this guy is, is it, wrong. Is it anything that's worthwhile? Uh, you're getting the energy bolt spell. But is it worthwhile? I mean, it's on the way to the next part of the game. Wait, no, that's just this. Based on what the guide's telling me is you need to go out to the right and go up. Well, not this. We have to go on the path. Because I'm just wondering, is there... No, it doesn't seem like there's anything. Wow. No, plus the water's going to kill you. So when you get onto the next screen, pull out your map so we can see whether or not you're near the, uh... Alright. Basically, the next place we're heading towards is the city of Noctom. Okay. Also, Vapictus. <laughs> Yeah, just, just that made me think. Uh, the name of that town just reminded me of a uh, kid in high school who told me, yeah, the best way to just come up with fantasy names is just take a bunch of muscle relaxers, lean back in a chair, and just start saying random words. Mostly German words, really. Mostly German words, really, but yeah. <laughs> That's pretty accurate, actually. <laughs> <laughs> feel sort of attacked by this, actually. It's kind of rude. Alright, map, please? Well, just because it's rude doesn't mean it's not accurate. What the fuck? Okay, so this guy sucks. Uh, this game I was just, just saying, well, that doesn't have anything to do with it yet. The guy not being great is not helping. Yeah, no, it's because the guy just basically says, uh, go back to where earlier were the path split west and north close to the vista marker. Okay, let's go back into this. this right here. Because, I guess, being more accurate with your uh, explanations is not cool. Okay, west and north. This is a singular path. Yeah. And you went inside this building already? Yep, that's where I got the light spell. So let's see. Uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, check this, this sign Oop. when you get done killing these nerds. Beep boop. Okay. There we go. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, all right. Uh, okay. Check the map again, please. I'm gonna ask you to do that like a million times. All right. So we want to head up. Okay. So I can. Did you go into that cave in the far left? Yeah, because that's where we got the wolf spell. Oh. oh well, wait. no, you got the wolf spell down here. Oh, that. Uh, I think yeah. that is where we got spat out. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so you just want to jump all the way up and keep going north. I have a tendency to literally follow the guides step by step, so I try. To, I tend to not think to do it. Is this necessary? And just more, we need to go there so that I know where we're going to be. 
There's Nocturne. Nocturne. There we go. All right, now we're on the right path. I think this is what they they meant by west and north, so we'll just go with that. Sure. And I think whatever first building you arrive at should get you the energy of Old Shrine. God, I hate how the fucking light spell is a necessity. Yeah. Just because you have an idea doesn't mean that it's good. Exactly. Like, why make it a necessity if it's gonna cost something? Cause fucking you. Okay, Pee Wee. Just <laughs> slur slurping all them fluids. Gotta slurp that Gert. It's like Go Gert, but humans. I love how inconsequential combat is. <laughs> like, every once in a blue moon, Lola will eat some shit, but for the most part, it's been <laughs> that completely non threatening. Oh, God. Alright, so I think you can go further in here. It's not just the save point. I think this is the energy bolt shrine. Also, did that. Yeah, it is. Did I read that right in that it takes two blocks to save? I think. Bad game. Hmm. Why do you gotta Sorry. be special? You gotta go all the way to the back. I see that now. Welcome to the Energy Bolt Shrine. We figured it out. No, because it's great, because they put that section right after the Zeke Stool revisit section, so I thought it had to do with that exact same place, because I guess why bother saying, hey, go back to, uh... uh what the... Go back to the hills. Victor. Drinking blood, uh, funnily enough, they don't tell you this, but if you drink blood, it gives you gas. Okay. Only if you drink it wrong. Just in general, it just makes you fart a lot. Oh, okay. That kind of gets. They, they don't show it in the movies. They don't really touch on it in any of, like, the Anne Rice okay. novels, but vampires are very gassy. But but I like the idea of uh, fucking Kane, just at home, just has one of those those soda carbonation machines. I forget the term. Soda stream. Soda yeah. stream, and he just fills a bottle with blood and just starts spritzing it full of car carbonation. <laughs> yeah. So these enemies suck. So torpid, as you were saying about uh, combat being inconsequential. Welcome to this bullshit. Okay, but I like the broken sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> I love the beeping and buzzing. It really adds to the immersion. I also don't know how much more this I can take. <laughs> Blood is basically just a wet fart, really. I've got nothing to say about this. A lot of the same thing over and over again. Yes, I say, is there like boss fights or anything? Yes, there are. There are boss fights. When? Uh, well, when you get to the boss. Well, Which when is, is the boss? How close? Well, the first boss is going to be Nepraptor, but we haven't even gotten to Nepraptor's uh, area yet. You've got to go through How? Noctom, Steichen Crow. So the answer is we're not getting to that boss. A, Roma a Romani camp. I'm not saying what it actually I'm sorry. is. Vaserbund, and then the Praptor's Retreat. You got a couple ah. places to go before you get to your first boss fight. How miserable are boss fights? How much do you like this combat right now? Not at all. Okay, Shit. that's a boss. That's the boss fight, really. I think I've had enough of this game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. Because also this seems I am afraid that my, my my I'm just afraid that RetroArch is going to turn into that Karma Again stream where it's just going to turn up the windows just who going fucking, to start crumble. Who fucking shoved beans into the PS One? God damn. Okay. Even the I, PC version is is really. I have a feeling that there's some things about this. Oh. All oh, right. Hold on. Give me a sec. Whoop. Oh God. That's right here. It's because it's just it all breaking, low. isn't it? Yeah, it's no, it's definitely... definitely neither of those. I would say probably like a fucking 16, 17. Let's see. Well, well let's see what, what we got in yeah. this category. 
it was it's, it's not functional. A bad game. The, it's the emulation old. was the problem here, not yeah. Yeah, I will I will so give it game. a one. It will at least get up one pity point. Would you rather play this or Friday the Thirteenth? Uh, if you say Friday the Thirteenth, Lolo, I'm going to break you. I'd actually have to think about <laughs> like I not in like a. Mm. Okay, so let's set the hard limit. Would you rather play this or Govelius? I would rather play Govelius than this. This or the Goonies too. <sighs> I agree too. You almost had kind of the same issue. We're just kind of going all over the place, but the, the yeah, gameplay. Yeah, I think it's good being on par with Goonies too. Yeah, the Goonies too. The gameplay is much better, but also that was also winding. Yeah, but this has nonsense. a much more interesting narrative, honestly. Yeah, I'll yeah. I'll, I'll give it sixteen. Yeah, like it's it's it hasn't aged. It's it's yeah. unfortunate because it's it's the start of a really good franchise. That I don't think got its proper due. I am but it dreading. Will not lie. It's not a good game. I'm dreading the day we get to Soul Reaver. Soul Reaver is fucking amazing. Why no, are you that? it has not aged gracefully. And I okay, the control the controls haven't aged gracefully, but it's it's still a better experience than Blood Omen. In oh a yeah, lot of yeah. Ways. No, I'm just saying I'm dreading the day because I have I have made sure to not play it ever again to preserve that memory. <laughs> I've played it again using Dual Shock. And it's great because you have to go through a couple of loops to get the uh, dual shock to work. Okay. So I should just do the Dreamcast version. Well, actually, I don't no. want to do the Dreamcast version. I want to do a good version. Yeah, the Dreamcast version is good. Fuck off. You fuck off. All right. So right off the bat. Well, hmm. Just put I mean, v I, I, I was I would have put this more in the middle, personally, but y'all outnumber me. It's it's not a good game. Yeah, it it, not really it does not play that well. But yeah, it's disappointing that it's the very first in the franchise and it doesn't set the best tone, but Soul Reaver is by leagues a far better game and oh, I definitely. can't wait to do that. Which is why we're going to rank it right next to Kuji. Also, Vey Victus! Vey Victus! You know, I think that's probably the worst than Fire 13th now that you mentioned what? that. <laughs> anyway. I swear to God, Lolo. Okay, uh... Thank you, Rafferty. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing I was thinking of, like, boy game looks kind of like Geralt in a weird way. All right, don't you mean Geralt looks like Cain? Since Cain came first? Did, when did the he Witcher did not, novels... Did not. The in game form. Anyway. Um... Hmm... <sighs> Oh god damn it, PG, you're right, yeah. So Oh uh, okay, that makes it worse. So <laughs> that actually makes it much. <laughs> no, he doesn't have two swords, so it's not Trizit. At this moment he doesn't have Also he's PG. not a drow, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, also I will have you know the Witcher goes back to the early nineties. I mean that just that, saying. Okay. Yeah. I like how you're saying like like that's a long period of time between that and this. When oh this no, was 92 years. was the first Witcher book. But also, anyway, point. That's that's no. the point. Okay. Anyway, they were also on completely different points in the world, so it's not yeah, like they would have exactly. even known each other. Anyway, can't believe they ripped each other off. I mean, it's I, a Dennis I, the Menace situation. It's Diac, so it wouldn't surprise me. But yeah, anyway, Vay Victus. Regardless, Vay Victus. Yes. Um. <laughs> okay. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead. And put here. Oh, why? Okay, Windows. Why are you doing, searching some in the background? Here we go. Ah, for charm. Yeah, I thought the art. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put a shrug right there for charm because I can see why people this. like it, but also I can see. So I, yeah. this. I'm, I'm gonna be real here. This also falls in this weird spot of I think the art assets looked nice, but the actual camera work and lighting were fucking abysmal. Yes. Put a shrug on, on that too, though. Yeah. Well, no, because art and camera shit are different. Right. Uh. So. Yeah. The well, no, art, the well, camera shits for uh, media delta stuff. Well, it's all well also gameplay. Or would you put that under appearance? That's, that's under gameplay. Okay. Was it gameplay? Yeah. I thought it was uh, the the fourth I'd, thing this thing no put, that is like story and all that story oh, okay. is thumbs up for me and I, I i will absolutely fight for that that's what i, I feel like because i was gonna put the shrug for that but the story itself yeah. can be is fine i also cannot 
Not it for gets, that. it goes fucking places. Music, and it gets super complicated. Music, I'm just gonna leave alone because it wasn't bad. Music was, was all right, but yeah, it's nothing exceptional. Yeah. Uh, we'll have the snail for. The difficulty. So, is there like a, a fucking emoji for just all over the place for difficulty? Uh. Would that be Not just the scary real. face? Well, actually, well, no, that's because that's difficult, but in a fair way. Yeah, no, this is, in this case, it is a case of just, it is wildly inconsistent. Yeah. I, but, uh, what are the name emojis? Because I feel like there's something the, else I wanted to the put there. Uh, let's take a look. Is this even, would you consider this an RPG? Because I just consider it's, this a straight up action It's close enough. Action RPG. Yeah, yeah, it's it's as much an RPG as say Legend of Zelda is. I don't consider Legend of Zelda an RPG. It's it's an RPG. It, it it's in it's on that press it's, it's on the it's, edge. It's a, a an RPG with low numbers essentially, like no numbers. But uh, let's see. Too many options with not enough explanation. Oh boy, um. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Um, I think mine for this would be just the the actual world itself. Won't you shut it's... up? That was it. Oh yeah. Where are you? There you are. At the bottom. bottom. The bottom level. Yep. There you are. I got it. Do you? Do you have it? No, we're not watching. Holy shit! I would say yes, but we're that didn't win the poll. <laughs> what? Nickelodeon cuts. Yeah, because y'all fucking suck. <laughs> All right. Why does... Lola, why do your viewers consistently pick the wrong choices? <laughs> anyway. Um... Fuck. Yeah, let's let's not do Guts. Let's do Gremlins 2 instead. That's, <laughs> that's good. Gremlins 2 is, good, is an okay movie, though. But it's not Guts. Hold on, wait a minute. It's also not Roller Games. <laughs> Hold on, wait. There we go. <laughs> Lalo uh, Notice doesn't have a chance, so. Let, let me check. Where, where the hell I have too many damn things? Like Labyrinth is leading. Yeah, well, no, because it's two things. Yeah, it'll, right. be, it'll be two things. So it'll, it it is now Nickelodeon Guts and. It's Guts Labyrinth. and Roller Games. According to executive decision, it's Guts. Oh, I, oh, <laughs> actually, I didn't see that. Oh, I will have yeah. to pick because that. It, <laughs> Actually, I, in, I'll flip the coin, and by flip the coin, I mean I will look up to see what what has more episodes on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that is not this, Fuck and that this has game. been the Blood Omen Legacy of Cain. It sadly Man, didn't age well. We only lasted an hour, holy shit. Well, an hour and a half, almost. It's longer than, uh, than you anticipated you were going to run it for, to yeah. be honest. Yeah, but luckily... Yep. We had warned Lolo multiple times. <laughs> yep, I went and actually got... Well, I have one backup in mind, but I actually... To be need... fair, this backup can last us. Yep. Uh, also, uh, I need to check something real quick, so I will be right back. Yeah, like, we kept warning him while, like, I think Bear and me were playing Halo. I could have... I could have absolutely warned him, but I didn't want to, because that takes all of the fun out of it for me. Oh, he, he knows it. He knew it was bad. No, he was testing it earlier, and he's like, oh, wow, this is real ass. Yeah. So, so I was like, get a backup game, get a backup game, get a backup game. It's such a shame, because Soul Reaver's so much better. Yeah, but that's because it's Soul Reaver. Yeah. I mean, it controls, like, ass, but it controls, like, a different kind of ass. Yeah, I, I feel like the... The, the, the Dreamcast version would probably control a bit better, but... See, I never liked the, the Dreamcast controller, personally. I always felt the joystick was just too... I said better. I never said it was amazing. No, but still, I mean, I've also, always thought you, the DualShock was a better controller. You, you want to know the real reason why Soul Reaver is so much better? No, but tell me. Because it's Crystal Dynamics. Yes, that. And also, we get Michael <laughs> Bell. Michael Bell's just a fantastic choice Weird. actor. And have, I, him I, and Templeton are just they have such great chemistry in that game just in general the art direction in it is really solid too oh yeah 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 
I mean, I, there are some of the areas start to look super saney at the beginning, and then you get true. But I, I meant like the, the the character designs and all. Yeah, that. no, 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 no. Like the character design's fantastic. Tony J gets his proper role instead of doing Mortanius. He does the Elder God, and God, I miss Tony J. All right. I had to put my laundry in the dryer. So terrible. Okay. So what, are, what are we playing? Well, so I was thinking like. With how grimdark that game was, I wanted to do something lighter. Like, basically the polar opposite. Something nice and cheerful and cute. So, I was looking, thinking of games, and then I realized, you know, there's a game I kind of need to do. And it's one that I'm sure people are familiar with. And I just, we need to get through this one. So... Let me just, let's just do this. <laughs> yep, it's time. Oop. Once, hopefully, Retroarch doesn't, well, now Retroarch is frozen. Hmm. I guess we're not doing Super Mario World. <laughs> or not also doing anything else. If that's the case, I think it's just it just needs a load off the NAS. God, that's so good. But yes, congrats on breaking it. Like the cane just swooped in and killed Mario. Well, the thing you can also play. Oh yes. Yeah. Well, there. I don't think this game really needs any introduction. <laughs> it's Super Mario World. <laughs> Let's just start. Up. Oh. Calling it early, 21. Okay, so yes. Welcome to Dinosaur Land. Also, I, I'm i actually... I haven't really gone through and played this in full a whole lot. So, okay. So I know here... So yeah, it's... I mean, last game we did was Super Mario 3. Yeah, I'm just going to keep that one. <laughs> Off to a good start. Okay. Oh, wait, is... Oh, right, it is Mario in two days. So there. Here's, here's my... Here's my March 10th stream. God damn it. <laughs> I mean, I don't like Mario games in general. Okay. Yep, they have the dragon coins. Also, you can hold an item. Okay, there. Also, you have that spin jump, which we actually saw in Land 2, but all, I think this predates Land 2, so technically that came from this. It's, it's uh, Super Mario World. Not much else to be said. It's Mario. But on the this would have been a good time to talk about Dennis Tidak. Or Tidak. Yeah. <laughs> We did just blow your load early, Torpid. Jesus. What do you mean I blew my load? <laughs> Fuck off. Well, you're the fucker who brought it up first. We were waiting. You're like, no, let's talk about it now. Fine, okay, I guess we will. Now we've got nothing to talk about during Mario. Are you fucking happy with yourself? Uh, no, I'm never happy because I actually don't really like this game. I think it's fine. It's Dead. No, it's a perfectly fine Mario game, but I just find it kind of boring. But, like, I think it's good. It's a well-done game. It's very well put together. It's the same kind of thing that Link to the Past, where it's, like, it's it's very good, but also everything's tried to... Not ape it, but everything's tried to the take lessons. The sign effect. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh. Like, I don't know. I, I know a lot of people fall back on this thing, like, this is, like, their favorite Mario or whatever, but... I've played better Mario's. So I feel like part of this is a nostalgia thing. Yeah, That, that also could be. And it's, it's one like, of the more popular ones, so it's gotten so much playtime that, you know, it's that also kind of wears as well. It, the thing about it for it's me... Also the whole massive ROM hacking scene. Yeah, that, yeah. Also, that also is why I can, I can just go and do that. 
It's like when you hear the, the, that, the most popular song of the week over and over that entire week. You're like, okay, yeah, the song's pretty good. And by the end of the week, you're like, I can't fucking stand the song anymore. Um, yeah, because, yeah. Yeah, he started a new studio and nobody cares because he's a, a shitty person. But like, oh. It's a solid game. This is very, like, well-made, very tightly made. Yeah. Yeah, it's the fact that it, this game doesn't really have a whole lot of, like, flaws. Also, hello, Yoshi. Um, I also don't think it takes enough risks. That also is a thing where... It's super safe for the franchise. I mean, it's kind of like... It's like just having me thinking of, like, how... I like... It's like, one of the things I liked about, um... Odyssey before, like, the end game started. It's just that that was, like, oh, it's this neat little side idea that I liked what they tried to do with it. Yeah. Also and this is again. essentially a refinement of previous games, and it does that very well. Yeah. But as I said, it's, it's super safe, so it, it doesn't really take any risks, and it doesn't make itself stand out enough amongst the others. Like, say, Golden Coins, Mario Land 2. That stands out because it's very unique visually and from a gameplay perspective. Oh, I still yeah. say my favorite fucking Mario game is uh, 3D World. Yeah, there's a lot of different shit. That's the one that they're thinking about. There's a rumors about it being remade, right? Yes, because it's still Wii U only. Yeah, I've heard a lot Which of people... Which is a shame, because it is some of the most fun I've ever had with a Mario game. Yeah, I've heard a lot of people say good things about that one. What about Warrior Land? What I would love is fucking online multiplayer with it, because the game is incredibly <laughs> nope. fun multiplayer. Super Mario oh, Land 3, Wario Land, though. Wario okay, Land's... But the Wario's... Yeah, the Wario Land's a different beast altogether. Those are also... But also, that's because it took a risk. Yeah, that's yeah, also... exactly. It took a risk, which actually, I, if I were to think about, like, I'm just preemptively thinking about, because I was, I looked at what our Mario rankings that we have so far, um, and I could honestly, I could probably see, like, I'm just going to go and say, I don't think it's, I mean, I think the floor is probably three, still. Yeah, no, but, definitely. Uh, because we have, I believe in one we have. We have Donkey Kong. I, I think actually for the attack category, I think all of them are Mario games. There's four of them. Because we have both the Game Boy ones that we've done so far. Um, we have Donkey Kong 94 and we have Mario Land 3. Or, or Mario World 3. Or not Mario Brothers 3. Um, oh, geez, I slow down. I just don't really like the art style in this. Yeah, yeah, that's another thing is also, I just, it's a, it's just me realizing I kind of actually don't like this nest that much. Yeah, uh, honestly. <laughs> when I played this, it was on the Game Boy. It's a bit better. Yeah. Well, that's also great because you would have the GBA speaker. It's just I don't uh, like I don't like the SNES sound chip. It's it's not good. I don't like the sample based mu uh, music. I like the FM synthesis style that like the Mega Drive had. But that's just me. Yeah. No, that's fair. I mean. This is the when I my growing up my systems went I went from the Ataris to this like I skipped Genesis I skipped Oops. NES Master System I, I skipped all the like the stuff before this so this was basically what I had for the most part of growing up right. you know Earthbound right. this Star Wars oh, see I'd only ever played this like once or twice as a kid and like. The actual SNES games that I played more extensively were bad. Yeah, because we had this as, like, like, we had this as well. And I'm, actually, now that I think about the the Mario game I played on the SNES more was All Stars. So I played like two and one a lot. Yeah, I I did more of the RPGs: Final Fantasy VI, you know, three, uh, Earthbound, Secret of Mana, Secret of Evermore, Super Mario RPG. God, I hate that, all of those that, things you listed, and I don't know how to feel about that. That is also because it's okay to be wrong, Torpin. 
<laughs> RPG. Well, because like in my in my play, in my case, r real quick. Uh, yeah, I, yeah. I first grew up playing adventure games on the PC. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So and then I moved on. So personally, I own the N64 nope. and the PS1. Nope. Got it. Yeah. Whereas I only ever played the SNES at friends' houses. And the w games I had played a bit more extensively were Donkey Kong Country 3, uh, uh, Killer Instinct, uh, and fuck, there was one other game he had that I just cannot remember off the top. You know, there's a lot of, we talk about, like, nostalgia and going back to them games just not being good. None of the Donkey Kong Country games are good to me. They're all bad. Yeah, they're, they're all bad. Just, what, they, not fun. One is kind of okay. Two, I don't have enough experience with, and three, I just know is not good. What? Look, I have distinct memories of being a kid at my friend's house playing Donkey Kong 3, Country 3 while he had his cassette of Baby Got Back in. Like... <laughs> See, my experience with the NES was more going over to a friend's house and playing oh, Shadowgate right. and talking about Dungeons and Dragons because we were just like God, super, fucking nerd. super sitting in his backyard dressed up in a robe holding a plastic scythe playing a demigod. Those were the fucking days. All right. God, I would have shoved you in a fucking locker and I was a goddamn nerd. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's see. Doesn't help that I actually did get shoved into a locker. Thanks for, thanks for no, the no. Uh, return. Like it yeah, legit, legit happened. Ed first Nobody fucked with me, it was great. I fucking wonder why, Torfid. <laughs> Maybe it was also great because there were some kids who at one point tried to bully me, but I didn't give a shit. You, a fucking giant tree person, not I getting bullied. I have literally always been big, it's great. Whereas I, the pocket person who, at their height, is five and almost five inches. Thank you. Ah, so I'm a full foot taller than you is what you're yes, saying? Yes, pretty much. Yeah, actually, yes. Yeah. So how about you eat a big bag of shit? Now I'm good. <laughs> Look, I've always been terrible, though. It's fine. It's fine, Axe. Bite your fucking kneecaps. One of my favorite stories to always tell about how awful a person I am is when I was in second grade, I was sitting with a friend at lunch. Said friend who had the, the SNES. Um, and it was wonderful because all of a sudden I started... He was eating meatball sub. I was seeing oh, the lunch I brought from home. Okay. Yada, yada. <laughs> I just like this story. It's like he's eating a meatball sub. Like the story can only go better. Uh, and all of a sudden, I see his face turn red, and he starts choking. Oh. And what do you think my first reaction is, Axe? Did you fucking laugh? I laughed my ass off. <laughs> see, I thought you were going to say you were going to... Oh, shit. <laughs> I, I thought you were going to say you stole the meatball sub. No, I, I, I wouldn't steal food. No, I thought you would, I just like, laughed as he was choking. Uh, and it took one of the, uh, the teachers who was there to realize something was up as this kid was bright red in the face <laughs> choking. And you were bright red in the face laughing at him choking. It's true, I was laughing. I couldn't stop. I don't think that's how the Heimlich works, Torpid. You did it wrong. You just coughs up the thing out of spite. <laughs> Actually, remember a thing here? Definitely not the direction I thought that was going to go. I thought oh, you were gonna, like, right. I forgot about this power up. I, I would never Wait. get by with this. No, maybe this isn't it. I try not to put anything past you at this point, Torpid. Oh, wait, this is... As a teen, I did get a bit violent and did get into fights. Oh, yeah. I mean, I got into my share of fights, too. Fond memories of that time that I grabbed a kid by the back of the head and slammed his face into the ground. Yeah, I kind of need a dude in the junk until he threw up, so... <laughs> the fun memories of that time that I got called out in fucking gym for body checking a kid half my height. <laughs> Max, I had to be violent. I was short and geeky and See, yeah. I, I, was, I wasn't violent. See, I was violent. I That's also because I was stewing in hormones and also unmedicated by both. Yeah, that, that kind of helps too. Also, I, I had to be. I spot. forgot how this works. Oh. Well, it's it's fine. I right mellowed now. out as I got older and realized, wow, I was really shitty. 
Yeah, same. Same. You move past it. <laughs> Carnival just gets the bloodlust. Like Columbus. I wouldn't compare Murder Carnival to purpose. Columbus. I yeah. wouldn't compare Carnival to Columbus, Torbid. No, he's like Columbus. He got the bloodlust. He's like Columbus. He get murderous on purpose. Oh. I think I messed that up. Yeah. Be aggressive. Yeah, exactly. Be e aggressive. I love you, Carnival. <laughs> Okay. So, what am I even supposed to do? Just it goes whatever direction you're looking. Oh. It's over. Did I break it? I think so. You might have. Maybe okay, you gotta bring the power switch it. over. No, because I gotta. Okay, Axe, I, I found it. I put what it in did, images. What did you find? What am I looking for? The thing that Carnival and I are referencing. I I don't... Oh god, Brad Neely. I don't know if I'll watch this. It's a good video. It's a film. Jesus, just avert your eyes. Don't you just have to, like, grab the coins? Oh, is... You have to fill up the screen? No. I think this one's just grab the coins. Oh, wait, maybe... Then where do you go? Oh, I... I think I might... Oh! Nope. The hell? I'm not sure to call where the main exit is. I know where the secret exit is. But you need a cape for that one. Yeah. But where's, like, the basic exit? Unless I think I... you need a cape for it. Well, I've... I no. I don't know, because this game really isn't into that kind of thing, where... Oh. Oh. There you Okay. I love athletic themes in Mario games. God, athletic is always good. I will never deny that. I think I think the Yoshi Island one is probably my favorite though. God, it's it. athletic themes. It's, uh, it's a song. Th yeah, there's a couple. There's usually songs that are just called athletic. This is one of them. Okay, there we go. Also, I now just remembered another Mario game I played in the SNES a lot, and that was Mario's Music. Oh no! That's pretty unfortunate. Also, I just realized when I ranked that game, I kind of have to use the PC version now, don't I? Yep. Mm -hmm. we, 
we get, you are legally required to. We gotta, we gotta deal with Ouija. So I'm gonna be real, the thing I hate most about the Nest sound chip is always the guitars. Damn it. The SNES has like some of the worst guitars and I hate it every time I hear them. It's like my problem with the fucking Mega Man X soundtrack. I, we don't we are not gonna need lives. Yeah, lives yeah. are trivial. Like tri lives are always trivial, but still. Yeah. Well, We've gotta... already ranked Mario Brothers Special, actually. Well, the Sharp X1 it? version of it. Yeah, the Sharp X1 version. Oh, fucking who gives a shit about that? Yeah. It has yeah, kind of sort of proper scrolling, but not really. Also, I don't think there's a Sharp X1 emulator out there, so... Or that I have easily available. Oh, do I have to give up Yoshi at this point? Or no, I can no, just do this. No, you have to kill this dude. I can just do this. You can just kill these guys by hitting their blocks. All oh, right. Well. Try that again. Oh, let me jump. There we go. Also, I do not like. <laughs> do not like. Off, Yoshi. Do not like Galoombas. Yeah, the they're just one. wrong. They're just wrong. There's nothing about them that's right. So gonna be honest, I've never really liked the cape power up. I feel like that's part of why I don't enjoy it so much. Yeah, I like it. It feels so some weird. Damn it. I I just don't like the power being just jump more. I guess. It's fly, but it's glide. It's a glide power up. Yeah, it's like well, now that you have it. It's you better. Like it secret exit. It's better than the um the bunny ears from Land Two. Yeah. Oh, that's... I just always find it a little boring is all. Like, functionally, it feels fine. It plays fine. It works fine. This is, once again, as much as we talk shit, this is a good game. This is a very good game. It's just also... Mm -hmm. Also, the fact that the Dry Bones doesn't have, like, an outline to it is weird. Yeah, it's, it's always been weird and sort of, like, off. They fix that in the game boy, I think. Now, the Super Mario Advance games were, like, I remember those being really popular. It's just a shame it's on GBA, therefore it has garbage audio. Yeah, the GBA had a lot of really good games, but also the fucking speakers were dog shit. I wonder if some, if, um, they got emulation if, for something that, like, you use a controller with, if they've gotten... Uh, the if you get the rumble for uh, Screwbreaker or whatever, drill dozer. Also, I realize I could take that over, but don't need coins. I think you can perma kill these guys with the cape spin. Yep. Let's see. Yeah, I kind of like the Tanuki more from uh, three. To be fair, three also had the frog, which was terrible, but at least it was interesting. Oh. Damn it.
Like, three had a bunch of weird shit in it. Not just power ups, but just in general. Nope. Oh, right. It's a SNES game, so they have to do some sort of rotation. Mm. Oh. Not need to go this side that much. And rule of three. Which, like, rule of three, generally a good thing, but also it just makes this fight feel really... Weird. Trivial. No, at least there's some difference in unlike three. Uh, yeah, sure. Also, I like that. It's Morton Koopa Jr. Like... The naming of the Koopa no, no, kids. The, the rule of three is what I meant, but yeah. Yeah, three yeah, hits. Do it, do it once to show that uh, to learn how to do it. Do it again to prove that you know how to do it, and then do it again to cement that you've done it. Essentially. Oh, no, no. The the big like if the icon's big, that means there's a secret exit, right? If I remember correctly. Mm -hmm. Or is it the color? Yeah. It's Tiger. when it's flashing red, when it's the color. So I can tell you where, how to get most of them if you wanted. How is Morton Downey Jr.? Who is Morton Downey Jr.? Yeah. He was a... Uh... I keep on confusing him with, uh, I believe he he's a singer of some sort. But I keep on confusing him with, or, it, no way, is Morton? Because the thing there is a Morton, there's a Morton Downey Jr. And there's like a Morton, I forgot what they, there's like a, there was like a, a proto shock jock. I can't remember if that's Morton Downey Jr. or if that's someone else. Uh, that is Sean Morton Downey, otherwise known as Morton Downey Jr. Okay. The one that you're thinking of, television host. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah he, he, big I, on trash TV, yeah. Yeah, big on trash TV is also the reason why uh, Rush Limbaugh is popular. <laughs> because he was a backup for him when he was on radio. Okay, but Axe, you, you should look him up because his, his Wikipedia image is very good. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> I know, right? He looks like Schwarzenegger during Total Recall when he gets onto Mars, but he doesn't have his helmet. Exactly, right? Oops. Okay, but Torpid. <laughs> right. Torpid. Yeah. Get your ass to Mars! <laughs> Check the images! Get your ass to Mars! <laughs> Got him. That's good. I love it. <laughs> oh. It's not okay. I was like, okay, what what image did you post? I'm like, oh, okay. It's just totally cool. No, that's Morton Downey Jr. Oh, what? <laughs> the image on his Wikipedia page. <laughs> yeah. I feel like this looks like Schwarzenegger from Total Recall he when does. he's on bars without his helmet. Yeah, that that is... Yeah. <laughs> it's so good. Uh... Hold on. It's oh, probably okay. him just yelling on TV because that's what he did a lot. <laughs> Not even the bar seat, just straight up the chair scene. Yeah, when he was in the chair. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that is. His memory, yeah. <laughs> God, that movie's weird. <laughs> Movie's great. I fucking love it. Uh, there is a Total Recall game on the NES. 
There we go. Oh, yes. That's our It's intro. really bad. It doesn't matter that it's bad. Total Recall is good. I mean, also, if we want to do another Stevie Nita Souza game, there's always Hudson Hawk. <laughs> oh, oh, no! No. Can I just call up again? Yeah. Do the Amiga version of it. Oh, God. Why? Why would you do Amiga anything, really? I'd rather see N-Gage shit than Amiga shit. Unfortunately, you can't no. emulate that well. There's at least interesting shit on the Amiga. Yeah, like, there, there's an Elder Scrolls game. It, no, that's the N-Gage. Yeah, I know. That's what I thought you were talking about. Yeah. No, I said there's at least interesting shit on the Amiga. Oh. Look, nobody wants to see Glitterati, Lolo. I'm sorry to tell you this. Are you, or when we never get to Sonic Advance, that we do the Sonic, let's do Sonic N. <laughs> Nobody wants to see Glitterati, Lola! They all want to see Glitterati. And it's weird off-brand Sean Connery. I mean, if you want to do off-brand Sean Connery... Like, I was trying to think... No, that's off-brand Jack Nicholson that I was thinking of in doing Shadow of the Comet. <laughs> Shadow of the Comet's great, I fucking love it. <laughs> also, it's great realizing that... The Native American guy oh. kind of looks like that dude from Samurai Cop. No carnival! <laughs> no! Bad carnival. Absolutely not. Oh god, you're right, Carnival, yes! Finally. We can get sexy right here. No. Oh. Look, fucking tender loving hair didn't cut it, alright? <laughs> Tits in the window just didn't do it for you, huh? It's not even erotic, it's just hilarious. <laughs> Right, Bobinator? Does it get sexier, the TLC? Fuck, that's right, Kingdom Hearts can count as well. Mm. There's gonna be a limit. <laughs> but you know what really matters is that the bouncer counts. <laughs> well... The thing is also that PS2 emulation is pretty good, so... For the most yeah. part. Some games I was gonna ask, when, when are we gonna count DS shit? Because there's a lot of interesting stuff. I was thinking stuff. of doing that, because that means I could do Hotel Dusk. Yes, I was about to yeah! say. Yeah! Damn it. Okay, but it also meant you could do Ghost Trick. Ghost Trick, um, World Ends With You. Uh, but more importantly, it means you could do 999. <laughs> God, Ace. I love me some fucking two thirds of Zero Escape. Ace Attorney. Well, yep. well, actually, technically, those were on GBA first, so. Ooh, right. Yes. Nintendo Dogs, though. Mm. <laughs> the real good shit. <laughs> I was waiting for you to just face slam into the nothingness. Okay. <laughs> Suck huh? shit! No, it's fine. Hubris. He's my favorite uh, voice actor, Hubris. It's also a character in the live action Out of Range Still Christmas movie. Mm hmm. Man, I wish I had some fucking fun bucks. Why? Did you, did you gamble it all away, Torpid? No, I spent it last stream. Well, two streams ago, I think, at this point. Mm -hmm. What'd you request again? Ah, <sighs> fuck, I already forgot. I, I think it's something good. Yeah, it was something I'm good. 9, points away. Lolo, please let me spend these Twitch bucks. I have almost 60,000. No. Okay, I was, I was gonna request... Uh, Hercules for the PS1, Marsh! So once I hit 50, we're getting Echo Knight. 
It's like the only one of the like very very few Disney interactive games that's actually decent. Yeah, it's a short game. It. You don't yeah, need to yeah, that's definitely short. Release. Wait, are we actually going to include PS2 games now in requests, or are you gonna it's... wait a while? I mean, I think I might have to put a moratorium on. Oh. Hercules, <laughs> that works. <laughs> Thank you, March. Uh, also, it's a thing that has been talked about, but nothing guaranteed. Yeah. Uh, where? Oh, I don't have stream. Oh, I don't have stream labels up. That's why. So, what was the previous thing I requested? Uh, I'll have to look, because I gotta add some stuff to the list. But yeah, it's just that now there's a new generation. It's like, well, technically, I guess since we're doing this generation based, I. Oh, it's right there. We could ease into it by doing, like, maybe five years worth of it. Just like the first five years of the PlayStation 2. Instead of going all in on it. That could be. That, or that's, I, that's most of the PlayStation 2, though. I was going to say, I, I yeah. th or I was just going to do it from, like, a, uh, like, a, by, um, trying to think. Case by case? I, yeah, case by case. Because then I can just skip Echo Knight and go right into Fatal Frame. Okay, but you should still do Echo Knight anyway. I do want to do Echo Knight, because Echo Knight is actually really good. Oh, the... Nailed it. You are truly the greatest Super Mario player level. Pro moves. <laughs> Speed run when. Okay, please. If you around, it'll be a task. Okay, but who who's gonna be the first one to do dot hack? I might. Mm. <laughs> I would never inflict that on Lolo, even though I do enjoy those games for some <laughs> sick reason. There's a thing I I gotta put like a a stop on anything that's like that's a long or RPG Zeta, or Xenosaga. I mean, technically Xenosaga would already count because you could tie it into Xenogears. True. Oh god, yes, you could ask long form Shenmue and really stick it to Lolo. <laughs> I mean you could just do that now. I, I can do that now, can't you? I I mean I'm not gonna There was something that I was thinking of doing Shenmue, but Shenmue is like, terrible. I did not like that game. Yeah, it's not it's a good not game. Good. Just play Yakuza instead. Yeah, yeah. Yakuza Wait, Yakuza would go for PS2. Yes. We can start the Yakuza game. Which means... Oh, no. Clock Tower 3 is already a part of it. I was going to say, no, the Clock Tower series is not part of Yakuza. You can't do that. No, well, I was no, thinking it's about... More, these, Clock Tower yes, 3 is already grandfathered in anyway. Yeah, so. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, let's see. Brotherhood of God Steel. Damn. I'm looking at my, my, my shelf because I got tons of... You got mercenaries. That's me. I like the first one. The second one sucked. The first one was... But also problematic. And, um, Jaws Unleashed. Onimusha? Look, look, Carnival, I'm pretty sure we've been over this, and I think Tsukihime counts within the current rules. Yeah, because that was 99, right? I think so. What? I like how you just gave up and just sort of accepted your fate there. It was 2000 even, that was it. Okay. It was Karno Kyokai that oh, was 99. We still haven't done Silent Hill yet. Nope, and that's I think I'm saving that for next. Oh no, Carnival! October. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Sukehime is not even good. <laughs> also, isn't that one? Did that get a? Did that even get a clean release, or is that just? Oh! I don't know if it got a clean release. I'll have to look that up. I just realized with the PS2 opening, we can finally watch my favorite movie for Media Delta, which is The Thing. I am going to tell you right now, I am not watching that movie. That is my... Because that is... I do not do body horror like that, and Cronenberg is straight out. <laughs> yeah, I can I can understand 100%. I could, I could let it go. Oops. It's still... Yeah, yeah I, I, I don't think Tsukihime ever got a clean release. I mean, also... <laughs> Also, that just makes me realize that you know, you know what is also available that that did get clean releases just recently. 
Oh, it's you know. God, please not you know. You know's bad. Oh right, that's oh. water. I can... oh, right, this so is. Bad. There we go. It's got a bomb ass soundtrack, but that's about it. Yeah, you know the soundtrack to you know is the only good thing about you know. Uh... Killer seven. Psychonauts. Just I'm sorry, doors, still just doors have opened. Angry about you know, bad. You know what? It, it does have my, it does have my favorite subtitle for a game, though, so just of how weirdly long it is. It's also really good because the show, unsurprisingly, also sucks. Yeah, also very uh, problematic. That's because. The game. Yeah, is... I was gonna say, it might be based on an H game. That's probably why. An old H game at that. I was gonna say, didn't no! we? No! I was gonna say, didn't we just say that that doesn't count? <laughs> yeah, also, I'm gonna say no because I'm. I'm not dealing with trying to figure out how to censor an H game. Uh, also, it's a really old fucking visual novel, so have fun getting that working. Oh. There are limits to what Lolo is willing to put up with. And yes, there, they, like, same thing with Tender Love and Care, there's a thing between that, like, even Phantasmagoria, that does. Uh, those are it's, it's, horny, but those are. It's not like. It's bad horny. It's not like it, it's titillating in any way. Oops. Although I am sad because I really like the game is terrible, but the movie is great. But I can understand why. Oops. Yeah, that's what the no, because we were thinking that's PS2. Also, hey, Kishable, saw your thing. What's PS2? You just Murdered do, him dead. Just do dot hack and it's like, oh hey, we're, we're doing the Delta. Oh wait, we're doing Legend of Twilight starting with that. No, fuck off. It'd be dot hack sign. Yeah. Dot hack sign is the lead into oh. the dot hack games. One second. Mm -hmm. But also it's much better. One second. I'm getting a phone call. You know what else we can do? Granted, the dot hack games also have their own little show thing that came packed into each one of them called Liminality. Mm -hmm. uh, there were four. We can also start doing a disaster report. But also, more importantly, if we ever did do Dot Hack, I could go on and on about my favorite composer, Yuki Kajira. Mm -hmm. And I would never shut up. Do you, though? What? Shut up. No, I don't. It's exactly. a problem, actually. Yeah. Nah, it's fine. Now, I'm just looking through my library of games sitting on my shelf with all the stuff that I can't wait for us to possibly get started on. Because that's just a lot of really good shit on the PlayStation 2. And... Yeah, there's also a lot of shit on the PlayStation 2. This is true. It this was some much... peak fucking shovelware. Mm-hmm. We could start Ratchet and Clank. Although, good luck emulating the third one, because it's not going to happen. Also, one is not great. Uh, gee, I wonder if we have an example of somebody not enjoying the first game. Okay, a... but who who's one to pony up the bucks to make Lolo play Planescape Torment? Uh, <laughs> that's a that's like a hundred thousand points yes. for that one. <laughs> that would be a lot. I don't I don't think he he would go for it though, just for how long it is. It's a shame, because it is actually one of my favorite video games. It's the same thing with, like, King's, Kingsfield, but that's more just because it's such a slow-ass game. Yeah, but then we could use it to transition to Dark Souls. <laughs> I know! I know! Are you saying how you can go to Dark Souls via King's Quest? Kingsfield. Or Kingsfield. Kingsfield, yeah. Because there's Kingsfield's 1, 2, 3, and 3 on PS1. Then yep. you got Kingsfield 4... PS2, 
And then from there, you hop to Demon Souls, which is the spiritual successor. No. And then from there, you hop to Dark Souls, which is the spiritual successor. Gotta go to Shadow Tower first before you get to Dark Souls. I would not inflict Shadow Tower on But anything. you have to. You have yeah. to. Shadow Tower it... Abyss? Yes. Shadow Tower? No. I mean, if we're already doing Kingsfield 1, then it's already... <laughs> We're already in deep. Shadow t Shower Tower is worse. Shadow Tower is so Shower worse. Tower. Shower Tower is worse. It's it... such a miserable game. Well, um, so I <laughs> I was going to do some later today, but it's actually turning out to be sooner than later. So I need to get some things repaired. So we're going to end this right here. <laughs> Not <laughs> yeah, stream. Let's rank it. Yeah, we can at least rank it. Yeah. Because I also it's super it's Super Mario World. It's probably like athletic. Yeah, let me let me just go ahead and do that. Do we do we even really need to argue on this one? I love Shower Tower. Shower Towers were all the Yu-Gi-Oh card players refused to go to. Yeah, the melee players. I think you mean. <laughs> no, the shower. No, the melee players do not go to Shower Tower. That's a problem. No, they, they avoid it. They avoid yeah, it. Yeah, they so fear much. to tread there. Uh, where the hell is Super Mario World in this? Do I not have? I just trust you to rank this one because I don't care. Okay, whatever. If you put it at one, I will argue. No, it's not going at one. Okay, then I'll, I'll, I'll be three. Quiet. Yeah, because let's, yeah. let, let's go. Yeah, because. Oops. Oh, right. It's in rank, long list. It's actually in resist. Wrong list. Wow. Look at all those ones. There we go. Yeah, I'd put it right up, right up in three. That's fine. Not two? I'd play Good. Spyro over this easily. Yeah, I, I'm fine with putting it three. I personally I'd play Bloodstained Curse of the Moon over, but that's neither here nor there. I mean, same category. Okay, so I guess we are gonna fucking argue about this. Let's do I it. Mean, no, I mean that's <laughs> no, no. I'm saying it's it's three, <laughs> but also on a personal level, Bloodstained Curse of the Moon is really fucking good. Yes, agreed. Okay. So your music's super quiet. Super quiet. Ah, there we okay. go. Yeah, the thing, the thing with my mixer is that for some reason, if it's at a level, I have to push it up and then down in order to get it at the same level, so it's really weird. Hmm. Okay, that's 1991. Nintendo. 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 SNES. Flat. Whimsical. Let's just do thumbs up. Music. Music. Art. Gameplay. Art. Yeah. Charm. Charm. It's got charm. I. Mm. It's got. You know, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna fight this one. This is. Yeah. Don't. yeah. <laughs> Let's see. And yay, yay slash nay. Not really. Just put yeah. a Mario face under Yay and be done with it. Sad. I think I think that's good in there. Just right in there. It's a me, bitch. <laughs> put a meat. Uh, put a spaghetti spaghetti strand there. Yep. So there. There's Mario World right there. Irony sure siphon filter. <laughs> All right. So yes, that is it for. This stream of Legacy Blood Omen, Legacy of Cain. Um, so yeah, uh, let's talk about what we're doing on Friday, and boy, howdy, is it a thing! So, <sighs> if you're watching us on Twitch, you can go to my YouTube channel at youtube.lp.life. Uh, there you can uh, watch these at your leisure. This will be up tomorrow at noon. Uh, if you're watching us on YouTube, you're going to my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash lowerthepuzzlo. Watch these live. It's Fridays at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Saturdays at 2.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And Sundays at Easter, uh, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, also, by the way, since this is March 6th, 8th, that we're recording this. Uh, if you are in an area that does not observe daylight savings times, those stream times will now be an hour later than they normally are. So... Yes, yeah. spring forward. Yep. 
Uh, there's also my personal Twitter at Load Puzzle, the show's Twitter at Hazeltown Story, the Discord server in which you can vote in various polls to if they are active, to and also chat with the community, and also see images of Martin Downey Jr. looking very much like he is like Arnold Schwarzenegger in Total Recall. <laughs> there's also Patreon, which has two and five dollar tiers, which helps with various hosting costs. So, next Friday is Friday the thirteenth. So let's do something cursed. Like, say, Sierra's police quest. Hmm. Yeah. You die! Yes. You die a lot Ray in that Victus. game. Alright. Uh, that's gonna be it. I... Uh, if you want to hold on for, I'd say, 40 minutes, go over to gonna... Bear. Convey Victus. Come on, everybody. One, once more to finish off the stream. Can we get a Vavik this for everybody? There, uh, so. Vavik this. Vavik this! Vavik this. Later. Come on, Lolo. Come on, no. Lolo. No. Do it. No. Do it. No. Vavik this. Vavik this. No. Vavik this. Vavik this.